Hi guys, this is Phil Evangelinos and this is another video and I'm really sorry I have been away for almost three weeks now but uh, unfortunately I have a nine to five job and things can get busy especially when you have a family but this channel is a priority and I will try to get to get back on track try to make two videos at least a week and because there are so many things happening in the world star at the moment and also there are so many things happening around the world that they need to be addressed and the watchtower is also trying to address them and one of them which i'd like to uh, touch on today is one of uh, the record breaking temperatures we had around the planet throughout this summer so the watchtower under the series uh, keep on the watch on their main website jw.org they have this article record-breaking temperatures worldwide what does the bible say so basically every time there is a change in the world they try to consider things from a biblical pers perspective so let's see what i have to say and whether their understanding aligns with the bible's understanding okay so under this article record-breaking temperatures worldwide what does the bible say and i have this to say during July 2022, record-breaking temperatures were reported worldwide. This is true. China issues highest heat alert for almost 70 cities in second heat wave this month. That was one uh, piece of news. Another one from The Guardian from the 17th of June 2022. Forest fires rage across Europe as heat wave sends temperatures soaring. And another one from the New York Times, again from July 24th, 2022, where it says cities across the United States set temperature records on Sunday as a summer heat wave spread across the East Coast and parts of the South and Midwest. We've seen that, we've seen the news, we know it is happening already. So this article says this, do heat waves fulfill Bible prophecy? And it says this, yes, global heat waves fit events that the Bible foretold for our times. For example, Jesus prophesied that we, we would see fearful sights or strange and terrifying things. And that's taken from Luke 21, 11. And it says the article further, rising global temperatures have led many to fear that mankind will ruin the earth. Now let's stop here. Luke 21 11, it does speak about fearful signs and in fact if you check all the other Bible translations they have sort of the same uh, interpretation, fearful signs. Uh, the thing is, uh, the Bible never connects fearful signs with heat waves. Uh, a fearful sign is something to observe and a heat wave is not something that you observe. Therefore there has never been a case or a verse and if you have a verse please show me where it says that heat waves are in fact fearful signs so whatever they're saying they're picking you know things out of thin air and then trying to make a case from Luke 21 11. so the article continues will the earth become unlivable no god created the earth to be mankind's permanent home Rather than allow humans to destroy it, he will bring to ruin those ruining the earth as he has promised. The well-known verses from Revelation 11.18. Now, consider just two prophecies that show what else God has promised. So they're going to tell you now what the God, God is promising about the earth. In Isaiah 35.11, it says the wilderness and the parts land will exalt and the desert plain will be joyful and blossom as the saffron. God will not let the earth become an unlivable desert, but he will restore its damaged areas. Also, from Psalms 65, 9, they have this verse where it says, You care for the earth, making it abundantly fruitful and very rich. With God's blessing, the earth will become a paradise. Now, it doesn't make sense with the previous part of this article. If there are heat waves, right, where do they lead to? Is there going to be an increase of heat waves? And will that be, have an impact on the planet? They don't say, although they acknowledge the heat waves is part of the Bible prophecy. On the other hand, they double down on the fact that they have always done, that the earth will remain as it is, 
and God will turn it into a paradise. Using these two verses from Psalms and Isaiah, that when you actually read the two chapters, there is no chronological identifier where you can find exactly where these verses are being fulfilled. Now, is it possible that these verses are being fulfilled after the thousand years? We just don't know. It is possible. We just don't know. So this is the article. It doesn't make much sense. You can read it yourself. Now, I just want to say, if you want to make a case that there are going to be, there is going to be an impact on the planet by solar activity, there are straightforward verses in the Bible. Okay? I'll read you the first one from 2 Peter 3, 7 to 10. But by the same word, the heavens of the earth that now exist are stored up for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not overlook that, this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count kind of slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. But the day, and this is the important part, but the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens and the earth will pass with a roar, and the heavenly bodies will be burned up, okay? Fire, the earth burning by fire, and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. So if you're going to use a verse about increased solar activity or the earth being impacted by fire in the future, here's the one, 2 Peter 3, 7 to 10. But there's also two other verses in the book of Revelation, which clearly speak about solar activity being increased during the time of the end. Revelation 16, 8 to 9 reads, The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was allowed to scorch people with fire. Right? This is happening during the time of the end. And if this summer is the beginning of the sign, you expect to see far more in the future. And the verse continues, they were scorched by the fierce heat and they cursed the name of God who had power over these plagues. They did not repent and give him glory. And another one, do you remember two verses we knew very well as Jehovah's Witnesses? One was Matthew 24, 14, where it says all the good news will be preached in all the inhabited earth. And the other one, Revelation 21, 4, where it says God will wipe out the tears from their eyes. Do you remember this verse? Now, do you remember this, this verse? Did, did you know this verse has a parallel account in the book of Revelation? And this is Revelation 7, 16, which is a different take of exactly the same words. And it says, Revelation 7, 16, They will hunger no more, no thirst anymore, neither will, the sun, neither will the sun beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. Okay? Increased solar activity has been clearly identified in the book of Revelation, but the Watchtower doesn't want to touch these verses because they're, they're, they're just doubling down, and they say that the book of Revelation is symbolic. It's not symbolic. It's only symbolic in part, but most of it is actually literal. And instead of giving a clear prophetic message about the future, all they do is just doubling down, and they're leading people to their own destruction. So... Record-breaking temperatures worldwide. What does the Bible say? There will be increased solar activity during the time of the end, as the book of Revelation says. But the Watchtower wants you to think that everything will remain the same. What are you going to believe? Are you going to believe them? Or are you going to believe your own study in the Bible? And by all means, this is my personal study, right? I only want you to use it as a springboard for your own study. I don't expect anything else. So... That's a few words from this article. Solar activity at the time of the end will increase. Thanks for listening to me, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.